Okay, so since I've made all these videos, um, well over 50 videos in the last 30 days, uh, what I want to do now, I really want to repurpose a lot of that content. I mean, it's a lot of videos. And, and so what I'm going to be doing a lot, because I didn't do any of this in, in, in October. I didn't promote or, or share any of those videos. All I did, I just uploaded them and that, that was it. Okay, I didn't do anything after that. Other people liked, commented, and shared and everything, which kind of helped, of course, a lot of the exposure. But I didn't do any of that myself, which normally I do, but I was I was really experimenting. I, I wanted to know if I didn't promote anything, any any of those videos, if all I did was just uploaded them, I wanted to know how would they do. And I think overall, a lot of the videos did, did okay. I mean, it wasn't anything to write home about or, or, or anything. Some videos got 100 views, some got 300 views, 500 views, 3,000 views. I mean, you, you name it, it was all pretty much within, within that, you know, that range, if you will. Um, you know, some 1,400 views, um, some even a whole lot of comments, some barely any comments or engagement or likes or whatever. So it, it just kind of varied based off of whatever the topic was or whatever, right? So <clears throat> what what I wanted to do is just to see what would happen if I just didn't do anything, it didn't, it didn't do any promotion. And it did okay. In my book, I think the progress was up. All stats have been up, you know, from views to comments to, to shares to, uh, I mean, revenue, you name it, all of it everything with all stats been up or subscribers up everything. Right. So, um, but going into November, I'm going to promote it. I'm going to promote a lot of that content, a lot of the content that I've already created and a lot of content that I'm going to make for November. So I'm going to promote a lot of it, going to send out emails to my email list, going to post on Facebook. Um, I'm going to run a few ads. So I'm going to boost a few of those. Like for example, I've, I've kind of shared, a few of those videos like on my Facebook fan page and, and one of them I'm actually going to run an ad on just a little boosted post. Nothing major, maybe a five or ten dollar ad, you know, for a day just to just to give it some some traffic. Um, I'm doing some posting in some different groups as well. Some of my different, you know, different videos. I've got a, a video vlog page. Matter of fact, I'll link it in the description below so you can check that out. You can see how I'm kind of um, organizing a lot of these different types of videos. Uh, that I can actually just house on one page and where I can show all my different videos and other offers and stuff like that as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'll, I'll link it right below in the YouTube description. You can check that out. So that's going to be fun. Going to make some shorts. So we're going to take a lot of this long form content. Well, a lot of them aren't really like long form. A lot, I think on an average, most of these videos that I've been making for the, for the last 30 days have been roughly around about 15 minutes. Um, some a little longer. Some have went to like 20 minutes or even I think I did a few that were like maybe close to about 30. But for the most part, usually about 10, 15, 20 minutes. So usually somewhere around there. Um, but there's some there's some, you know, moments in those videos that I could cut and uh, and then put as like a short on YouTube shorts or even a reel uh, like on Facebook, Instagram, etc. cetera. So um, but I'm really just going to be making a lot of shorts, just really. You know, because I know shorts can really help even build your audience um, and even your views as well. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of that, just kind of repurposing a lot of the content that I've already made. Because right now I've got a pretty good library of new videos, brand new videos. Not talking, I'm, I'm not talking about the videos I made three months ago, six months ago, six years ago. I'm talking about brand new content. Um, that and one reason why I like this format of just general videos like this because I can th these are easy to do some cool things with make sense so because it's very general so if I want to add some extra things to it like on the shorts and all that you know how shorts can get with the text and all the stuff in the background things be popping or whatever so if I want to do any of that I can do it because the, the the composition of this video is very very simple so it leaves a lot of room to do some pretty cool editing stuff. I won't be doing any editing. I'll let AI do all that stuff for me. You know, I use a lot of cool tools like uh, caption, the captions app. I use um, Descript, um, Opus Pro, uh, just to name a few. I'll be sure to, you know, let me write those down because I'll forget at the end of this video. So let me write it. So I said um, captions, 
the captions app. Then I got Opus Pro, O-P-U-S Pro. These are platforms where you can take long form content and it'll chop it up for you automatically so you don't have to edit. It'll do all the captions and everything. Really, really cool. And then another one that I like using is called Descript. Um, just how it sounds. D and then script. Like, you know, movie script, video script. So Descript. Um, you can check. And, and I'll be sure to to link all those. I might have a few of these already in the, in the, in the description, but I'll be sure to, to link them in the YouTube description so you can check them out. Those are going to be some tools that I'm going to be using um, going forward just to just to repurpose a lot of the content that I'm already making because it gives me more, more content. I've proven now with because of last month, if you just add more content to your channel, things can happen. OK. Um, and if you're very consistent, I, I think I've tried to stick with I've been trying to stick with about three videos a day as as a minimal um, effort. You know, just to, hey, if I could do three. And typically when I do those three videos, I do them in a batch. I like I make one, done. Then I make another one, done. Then I make another one, done. I don't like make a video like in the morning and then be like, okay, go up, do whatever, do whatever I got to do here at, here, here at the home office and then do another one, you know, later on in the afternoon. And then I do another one later on the yeah, hours. That, no, I can't. I don't have time to do all that. So the way that I do it, which works best for me, it might, that, that other method might work for other people, but for me, it works best for me to just sit down for the next 45 minutes to an hour and knock out three videos. I already got my topics. I already kind of, you know, I always typically write down, okay, I'm going to talk about this. That's a good topic. Okay, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. So, and I try to do about three. Sometimes I've done two. Sometimes I've actually done four, but um, I'm trying to stick, I'm trying to stay around at least around three um, you know, as a, you know, uh, a standard, if you will, uh, just to kind of, to keep moving forward. Uh, cause the more content I have, the more opportunities I could be able to use that content for future, you know, exposure. So, um, so that's what I've been doing. So I'll sit and I'll make all three videos, just like what I'm doing here. Um, as I'm making this video in this batch, this is my second video, right? So, um, I've already made another one. I'm, I'm making this one. And then once I'm done with this one, I'll make one last one and then that's it. And then I'll take those videos and I'll upload them. That's what I do. And it seems to be working. It, that's been keeping me uh, a lot more consistent. If I could just carve out about an hour or so in a day to knock out all three videos and then I'm done. Make sense? And then I can do whatever else I need to do for the day or go wherever we need to go or do whatever. I'm free for the day for after that. So, um, that's pretty much what I'm doing, repurposing a lot of my content, and uh, it definitely does help. It definitely has definitely made a difference in terms of just creating content. So now it's time to do a lot of, do some things with this content so it can generate even more views and more traffic, more awareness to my YouTube channel because I got all, I got, got this big library of videos now, and, uh, and I can do a lot of things with it. And I'm just going to continue to add to that library. I don't know if I'm going to do, I'm going to do this forever. I'm sure I'm not, but what I want, I'm, but I've got a goal. I've got some things that I want to do, uh, on my YouTube channel. And, uh, I know the only way to do it. The only way I'm going to be able to do it is by making content. That's the only way to do it. Um, and, and that's what I want to do. Cause it's just easier for me to just make the content. And, um, so, so we're just going to rock it like that. I just wanted to kind of share that information. Hopefully it can help you with what you're doing. Check out the links right below, and uh, I'll be sure to drop some of those resources I just mentioned. And um, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.